I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. I should get you right at home. I'm here because of trillions and trillions of cells and going over today. Science time today, science time. Let's what are the parts of a cell and what are their functions? Well, that's an extremely great question. I'm thinking that you should. You will need a plastic bag, some assorted candy, and some corn syrup. Start by getting yourself one of these fruit squares, and then slice her in half! On one of your slices, you're gonna place tiny sprinkles all over the front and back! Fold this over on itself, and then attach it to a gumball! Take the other half, fold it over on itself! Take another fruit square, fold it in half, and then fold this over on itself as well! Now get yourself a plastic zipping bag! Place these folded over fruit squares and gumball into your plastic zipper bag! Grab six of these lemon candies! And grab yourself five beans! No, I'm talking about them jelly beans! And then whip these into your plastic bag! Now get yourself some chocolate cylinder candies and slice them in half! Throw these pieces into your plastic bag! Now carefully fill the plastic bag with corn syrup and zipper shut! Now work the gumball to the center of the bag and then spread up the lemon candies and jelly beans until you get a cellular candy model like this! Oh yeah, now that's what I call a super wicked cell model. So, what do each of the pieces of candy represent and what are their function? Well, don't look at me, take a closer look at this. The cellular plasma membrane is a boundary between the cell and the environment. It allows particles to enter the cell, such as your digested food and oxygen, as well as remove waste like urea and CO2. It's also responsible for allowing several cells to work and bind together. The cytoplasm is a semi-fluid made up of 65% of water as well as digested nutrients and minerals. It provides an environment for the organelles to do their chemical reactions. The nucleus is the control center of the cell and holds the strands of DNA. The reason the DNA is inside the nucleus is to protect it from the chemical reactions happening in the cytoplasm. The DNA sends out molecular messages through the nuclear pores that also allow molecules to enter. Molecular signals flash back and forth through these pores as often as 10 times per second. The ribosomes are responsible for turning DNA's molecular message into proteins, which is why the rough ER, or endoplasmic reticulum, is covered in many ribosomes. The rough ER is a lot like an assembly plant, which processes and modifies proteins. The Golgi bodies are a lot like a packaging plant because proteins received are mixed with other chemicals and undergo a chemical reaction, after which they are sorted and then packed into small bubbles and sent to the rest of the cell. Lysosomes contain digestive enzymes which digest food particles and also act like a garbage and recycling plant. They gather up waste products in the cytoplasm, digest them, and they also recycle old organelles by deassembling the parts so that they can be reused by making new organelles. The mitochondria are a lot like the power plant of the cell because they are responsible for creating energy through a chemical reaction by burning proteins to create energy. The more active the cell is, like muscle cells, the more mitochondria will be found. The smooth ER doesn't have the ribosomes like the rough ER, and it acts like a detox center, such as those in the liver cells which detoxify chemicals found in the cytoplasm. Eukaryotic cells evolved from primitive prokaryotic cells which lost their cell walls. This allowed this membrane to expand and fold. The mitochondria in animal cells and the chloroplast in plant cells were primitive prokaryotic free-moving bacteria which were engulfed into the cell. Instead of digesting these bacteria, the cell maintained them. These new cells evolved into the eukaryotic animal and plant cells we know today. So now you know the parts of a cell and their function. You know, making a candy cell model that you can eat right at home is why science.